Hello everyone, this is Spiger and I'm going to show you guys a sneak preview of the Chunk Pre-Generator 1.6 since the Chunk Pre-Generator got over 50,000 downloads and I want to also compare some features of it. I'm not going to make a big ex detailed explanation of what um, the 1.6 version is but I want you to show or to show you in this case um, the difference in speed and performance and stuff like that compared to other pre-generators. In this case I'm going to use the standard Forge thing. So to give you a preview of that, both have the same um, Forge version, they both will have the same worlds and one uses Minecraft Forge to pre-generate and one uses the chunk pre-generator. Um, just to give a quick overhead what will happen, Minecraft Forge will be in the first of the two tests a lot quicker than my pre-generator. I'm going to tell you the right way. But when you watch the time lapse of it, you will see other issues show up really, really quickly. The second test, I can tell you that the chunk pre-generator will be much quicker with the same effects of the first test. A Minecraft Forge will stay at the same speed because Forge is not editable. You can't set really much of settings. My tool, on the other hand, is really customizable. You can speed it up, slow it down, all depending on what you want. So, of course, Minecraft Forge is not really a tool for pre-generation only, but I want to show you the other things that, or I want to show you in this case the part that Minecraft Forge does and does same as the chunk pre-generator. So I'm going to use on both the same seed with the both amplified version and create a world. By the way, the left one um, is Minecraft Forge and the right one is the chunk pre-generator. We're going to generate 40,000 chunks because more than that Forge can't generate, at least with my system. I don't have enough um, CPU resource or PC resources for it. It's not the CPU part, it's something different. You will see it soon enough. Um, I will stop the pre-generator that runs or that finishes first. The video will stop the time lapse and I will tell a couple things. You can tell already that the one the Forge one has a bit more memory allocated than the chunk pre-generator, but that's normal. So let me reset the pre-generator because it's already I did this recording a couple times. So The pre-generator is resetted to the default settings. This is the first te um, test. Start radius 0, 0, 100, dimension 0, post processing. Pre-gen start, no, not pre-gen. Forge generate 0, 0, 0, 40,000 chunks. Dimension 0, 100 chunks interval. Um, and I give Forge a head start.
and as you guys can see the forge pre-generator is done um, I still let mine running but um, just to show it let it running in the meantime but um, as you can see forge was around four times faster than mine my pre-generator but used around eight times more memory for standard memory uh, my use my pre-generator is using 400 to 1000 as you can see it's going down its setup up and forge's one is using 4.4 gb to start up and can go up to 5.5 gb also 7 gb are allocated meaning there is a memory leak if we wait long enough you guys will see that the memory usage is going down but we are forcing now to going down a side note each minecraft instance had two um, cpus for its own so they didn't collide with each, with each other or something like that so pregen stop delete that removes the tasks and just removes it and as you can see everything fine i'm going to close my pregenerator and as you can see instantly now i'm going to close forge and let's wait because that's another thing that Forge doesn't. There's a lot more to it when you do a pre-generator. There's not just generate chunks like blindly and then you're done. No. If we have 100,000 chunks, this cannot take up to 10 minutes or something like that. Um, luckily, in this case, it's not as much. I'm creating a copy of the world. And we're going to put now um, time where we look which one is faster again but this time with the pre-generator at priority settings so that things get done instead of waiting um, or allowing that you can play next to this so first of all memory screen up for both as you can see both are resetted in memory even so the first one is still allocated 7 gigabytes and the other one has allocated only 1 gigabyte but still both of them are the same so now let's do pregen set priority to the pregenerator pregen time per tick 500 that's more than enough pregen start radius 0 0 100 chunks again 0 and post processing Forge gets again a head start. Zero, zero, zero. Also no information flow and zero, uh, 100 for the interval. No, zero and 100. And now I'm going to give Forge a head start. And now I'm going to use that one. And you will see a tiny difference. But Let's let Well, this was unexpected. I did expect that the uh, forge side is going to be a little bit quicker, even so it's right now stuck. Oh, no, it's fixed. Um, memory usage is again a little bit down, but let's close it. Um, just to show off what the speed difference actually means. Um, as you can see, you have a time waiting time 
a little bit. My tool still needs a tiny bit to finish off and now we're going to close. Finished. There's the key difference, what I wanted to show off. Sadly, my tool is not much faster than Forge's. It actually, like, Forge still <laughs> is faster. But I do a lot of extra work to save the memory allocation, as you saw. I had a freeze where, basically, the game <laughs> didn't work for a second because it ran out of memory, just from 40,000 chunks. And I'm now going to do something that I wanted to do all the time. Um, delete area and then square zero zero and let's go 250 just in case and zero. And all the chunks that were just generated via the chunk pre-generator were all deleted. I'm not joking. This is what I added. You can now delete chunks, you can recreate things, but as you can see, my pre-generator is maybe a little bit slower than Forge's one, depending on how you use it, but it is much more memory efficient and also safer for crashes.